My name is Angela Nunez and I'm a horse yoga girl and in this video I'm going to go over how to get to downward facing dog on horseback and how from there to make your way up to Tadasana or mountain pose. So the key areas of the body that you need to warm up in order to be comfortable in these poses with your horse are your shoulders, your core, and your hamstrings. So start out by warming up your shoulders. We'll inhale and reach the arms out to the sides with the palms facing the sky, reaching the arms all the way up, staying long through the spine. As you exhale, turn your palms towards the ground and slowly lower the arms back down. We'll repeat four more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower the arms back down, breathing through the nose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, slowly lower. Two more. Inhale, reach out and up, stretching the shoulders. Exhale, back down. Last one. Inhaling up and exhale down. So start out with that warm-up doing about five to ten repetitions of that simple lifting and lowering of the shoulders. Make sure to move with your breath and really reach through the shoulders so that you start to stretch and warm up those muscles. Next, we'll start twisting, getting into the torso and the core a little bit while continuing to warm up the shoulders. So inhale, reach the arms out and up. As you exhale, open up, reaching the right arm forward and the left arm back and gazing over your right middle fingers. So hold here for five to 10 slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. Try to stay equally grounded through your seat bones here. Let your legs hang nice and relaxed. Let the shoulders relax down away from the ears as you stay, feeling your shoulder blades move towards each other on your back in this horseback seated version of warrior seal. Now we'll move on to the other side. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up and exhale, opening up to the other side, reaching the left arm forward, right arm back and gazing over the left fingertips. Again, relax the shoulders down as you reach create space through your neck, reaching upwards through the crown of your head. Stay relaxed through the jaw and around the eyes. And then again, after five to 10 breaths on this side, inhale the arms all the way back up. Exhale, open, reaching right arm forward. Inhale, turn the right palm up this time as you exhale, reach up and back. Left hand comes here with his hind quarters, right arm sweeps up. Stretching through the right side body. Keep the chest turning open towards the sky here. And then exhale all the way back to your warrior two arms. Inhale up to center. Exhale open to the other side. Inhale, turn the left palm up. Exhale to dancing warrior. Reaching that left arm nice and long. And exhale all the way back to your warrior two arms. Inhale the arms up towards the sky and exhale arms down by your side. So by this time you should feel your shoulders starting to warm up and getting those shoulder muscles working. So next we want to warm up the abdomen. You really want to use your core to help lift your hips up into downward facing dog. So you want to make sure those muscles are ready to do some work. So we're just going to do some sit-ups on horseback. And throughout this exercise, it's important to keep your legs relaxed and to keep your lower leg from moving back and forth. So make sure that you don't squeeze your horse accidentally with your lower leg. If you're a rider, you know the lower leg is the gas pedal. So you want the horse to stay nice and relaxed throughout this exercise. So get yourself centered on your horse's back. And then we're going to inhale and lie all the way down on our back. Reach your arms behind you. Exhale, use the strength of your core to sit back up. This back snowy up a bit here to make sure we stay in the frame. So exhale, reaching all the way forward. Really press down through your heels here to keep the lower leg from swinging back. Inhale, begin to lie all the way back. And exhale, coming up and then reaching forward between your horse's ears, pressing down through the heels. Inhale, lie back. Exhale, up and forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, strong up with the core. <laughs> Continue with those sit-ups. It gets snowy 
now we're ready to go up into downward facing dog or Anna Mukha Svanasana. So you'll begin by placing your hands on either side of your horse's withers. Make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide so that you have good support for your wrists. Then bring your feet behind you and place your toes on your horse's hips. And then once you're here, take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, engage your core and lift your hips up towards the sky, pressing up into your downward facing dog. So allow your heels to drop down towards your horse's hind quarters. When you're ready to come down from 